a new moon coming up on uh, this Sunday, uh, Sunday morning here on the West Coast and uh, uh, just before noon on the East Coast of the United States. Um, it's a new moon in Aries, uh, which is a sign that, uh, the first sign of the uh, zodiac, and uh, it's a sign that uh, is symbolized by the ram and likes to ram forward but forward uh there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of interesting aspects but um there, the good news is that they generally speaking the astrological signature the energetic signature is uh less um less depressive than it's been <laughs> the bad news is it could be a little bit more frustrating and uh, anger provoking with the particular aspects there can be uh, literally and figuratively a lot of headaches um, it's a really powerful new moon and um and there's a strong desire, almost like a, a sense of manifest destiny that many of us might feel around going forward in the way that we know we're meant to do and that must be done. Um, ramming forward in that way will literally, will figuratively and literally lead to headaches. This is a time when you have to go a little bit against the grain and take a step back. There, There's a balancing act, a juggling act here. Um, uh, often a metaphor that I use is like untangling a necklace. You can't just like a chain. You can't just pull at it. You've got to like slowly and carefully uh, work it apart. And I think a better metaphor now too would be more like kind of testing the ground a little bit before you uh, rush forward, perhaps on a un into unstable territory, in which you know you could fall through the bridge. Um, the uh, the signs that will feel this most are those uh, are the cardinal signs: Aries, Libra, Capricorn, and Cancer. Um, there's a really strong push for Aries, in particular, to uh, uh, to move ahead and uh, a very independent and iconoclastic and sort of forward thinking um, way approach or way of, of thinking about things or doing things, uh, which is great. But once again, it's very important um, to, uh, to, to think through the process, to go slowly through the process and not just to push ahead. Or, um, like I said, yeah, you may find yourself literally getting hit on the head to kind of uh, ram that idea home. Some of the signs will feel this less than others. If you're not uh, one, of, one of those signs and if uh, you don't have major planets. Um, I didn't check the generational signs, which which years are most likely to feel this. But if you're not one of those signs that's most affected by it, you may find yourself like sort of watching as other people kind of explode or blow up around you. And uh, even some of those signs, uh, Libra in particular, may experience it as other people around them who are just kind of like going crazy or insane um, and seeming to push ahead irrationally. Um, the those of us who are a little bit on the outside of it may will still feel the energy and there can be a kind of tension or aggression uh, that can lead as I said to sudden sort of outbursts of anger whether on your own part or uh, directed uh, towards you from others or irritation frustration um, fortunately there are some good aspects there are great aspects for like taking the time to relax and enjoy yourself uh, with a loved one there's good romantic aspects which is appropriate for spring and uh, there's good kind of intellectual aspects uh, aspects for sort of the arts or for you know for like reading or thinking or some sort of like philosophical enterprise like that um, the Pisces and some of the signs that have been un having had particularly difficult times uh, Pisces Virgo Gemini and um, Sagittarius Sagittarius in particular uh, may find it uh, much easier than it has been. Um, but, you know, for all of us, I think it's really important, even though some of this may sound difficult, it's all just words. And that's a really important aspect in terms of how you look at what's happening right now. Um, sometimes the times that, that show up officially as difficult astrologically really just mean that you have the added impetus to take advantage of the opportunities that come your way. And they can be a time 
win uh, of great uh, success or accomplishment, or perhaps of uh, stepping back and, and meditation, if that's what's required. They can be a time when you actually do what it is you need to do or experience what you need to experience in your life because you're pushed to do it. It's not, you know, bad times aren't always bad. They're, it's all just words and it's all just a framework. And um, one of the helpful things about astrology is that it can help you reframe or understand your experience in a positive way where you can sort of, you know, take a breath and take a step back and see that what you're doing is part of a bigger picture that may not be, you know, true to the uh, unexamined story that you are telling yourself about it. It's important to remember that, uh, you know, that all of it is, you know, a story that you're telling yourself about what's going on and that in the best of all possible worlds, you know, things just are what they are. They're, um, they're not what they should, what you thought they should be or what they might be or what they used to be or what you think they're going to be. And in this time, springtime with Aries, the first sign, the more you can let things be as they are and enjoy them, the happier you will be and the better able you'll be to take advantage of the uh, delightful positive aspects that also exist at this time and to see the hidden special route that's there for you. Have a great few weeks and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.